Welcome to another quick black box tip. I want to talk to you today about using your black box as a sort of virtual analog synth, which doesn't really work the analogy, but you can at least make sounds that sound sort of, um, or you can use the, uh, the sound engine like a subtractive synth and use very short cycles so you can have them repeat without it being audible. Because sometimes when you repeat samples or start to go into that area, it starts to sound a little iffy. So what I found, I found these uh, great this great sample library by AKW, AKWF, and they have um, arranged all these really short samples that uh, sound like uh, E-bass e -bass, e guitar or a flute or a FM synth or even a violin with the shortest possible wavelength. So for example, I have this it's barely audible, right? So if I load one of these sounds up, you can see like black box doesn't really know what to make of it. So let's just make it a sample. It's really short. And I'm going to change some parameters so it will sound longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a single wave cycle. So it's almost like a wavetable, only that you can't move through the wavetable. We're going to use this little part and say, okay, it's not going to, uh, it's in, if you go to the conf menu, it's not going to be on launch mode trigger, but on tri launch mode gate. Now already, no, sorry. Now, if we go to loop mode in the position menu, and we say loop mo mode forward, be careful to say forward because bidirectional sounds horrible. It's going to sound like a violin. And if I say bidirectional, it's not going to sound great. It's going to, it's going to um, have a double wave and it sounds an octave lower. But the sound I actually like a lot is this one. The BW saw. So I'm just going to grab one. Set it to sample again. Go over to conf. Set it to gate. Go over to position. Set it to forward looping. That's pretty good, right? It's a song wave, not, nothing special, but with a little effects. It sort of sounds okay. So I'm going to assign a sequence here so I can play my, my MIDI controller through it with the um, MIDI sequence uh, setting. Um, and I'm going to play around with it a bit to make it sound nicer because I actually want to play it like a bass line. Something like that. So I'm just going to check if the note I'm playing is actually a C. No, it's not a C, it's a, it's a D. So I'm going to go to my um, conf menu again. And I'm going to change the root note to a D. So now that whenever I play on the keyboard, it actually corresponds to actual notes in real life. Otherwise, it's going to use a D as a start point, And my C note on my keyboard is going to play a D. And my D note on the keyboard is going to play an E and so on and so forth. So okay. cool. Now we're going to play around with um, some parameters. I already messed about with some of the parameters. Let me set the pitch at zero. The sustain, for example. So when you have the default setting, well, let, let, let's tr just try again. Okay, I'm going to go to the default setting. Going to load up this uh, sample. Going to say it's a sample and not a something else position to forward loop mode and conf to gate. And now let's just make sure this is a D. Yes. Oh, uh, and have it correspond to the same pad. Maybe you say it's a D3 because it is a D3 and not a D4. Yes, okay, sounds great. 
Now, we can play around with these parameters, the sustain release, so it sounds more like you're playing it on a machine, right? So let's add some decay, some more release. I like this. Sounds good. Maybe a bit of filtering. Okay, this sounds okay. I'm gonna see if I can make something out of this. Okay, this sounds okay. Let's see if we can make something out of this. So I set up my sequences to play some drums. I have something. something here we go let's make sure it's 64 I'm just going to play my bass drum as a pulse and I'm um, going to play something like this. There's a bunch of sounds in there. Um, I haven't tried them all, but they're they're pretty good, especially for the short cycles that you can repeat. Don't forget to go over to Adventure Kids website to download and donate for all of these wonderful samples. Okay, bye.